What's up guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. I'm filming a very special video and this video is actually a collab with my good friend Cortland. We are both very big fans of All Time Low, so we figured it'd be a good idea to tell you 10 underrated All Time Low songs and 10 overrated All Time Low songs. This video will be overrated All Time Low songs and on her channel, make sure to check out the 10 underrated All Time Low songs we talked about. Hey guys, what's up? It's Court and me and Caitlin are collabing as she probably just told you guys, but um, that's pretty cool. Like what? Yeah, pretty fun. As a disclaimer really quick, I do want to say I love All Time Low. I'm in no way, shape, or form trying to hate them or say these songs are awful and that they suck. That is not my intention at all, I promise you. But as you guys know, bands always have a couple songs that are overrated or overplayed or overdone. Um, and so today, me and Caitlin thought we would break those down for you. So anyways, let's get right on into it. My first pick is Lost in Stereo. I do love the song a lot, don't get me wrong, but they have been playing this a lot lately. They played it on their past tour. It's a good song, it's fun, it's upbeat, but it's very, very poppy, and it's very boring. It doesn't have like a lot of structure, so I find myself getting bored of it. I never listen to this song when I'm listening to nothing personal. I usually skip over it. So the first song on here I have is Somewhere in Neverland. It's super cute. I listen to it when I go to Disney World, but besides that, I think it's mostly like a little bit cheesy. Um, the first or two times are really fun and whatnot, but then after a while you're like, all right, I know the whole entire song, I'm done. I like this song, but it gets old very quickly, and I think it's a little bit overrated for what it is. The next song is Remembering Sunday. This is one of my favorite, one of their slower songs. I love this live. Like I said, it just does have a lot of hype with it. It's pretty old, pretty popular, and they're just playing it way too much. I think they should start playing new songs that they haven't played versus just replaying this one over and over again. The next song on here I have is Dear Maria. This song, it's great, but it's overdone. Whenever I think of All Time Low, one of the couple of songs that will pop into my head first, because this is a song that everyone knows, even if you're not a fan of All Time Low or you don't know who All Time Low is, you know the song Dear Maria. It's played at every single concert. It's just very overhyped in my mind. Um, maybe if they like stopped playing it for a couple shows and then decided to play it again, that would be cool. But this song is just something that you know is gonna be played at every show and you know it's gonna be hyped up and whatnot. And it's just kind of getting old and kind of getting sick of it. Um, so yeah. Now the next song, please, please, please don't, don't hate me. The next song I chose as overrated is Missing You. I love the song to death. I think it means a lot to a lot of people. It's a very meaningful song. It has a very meaningful music video and it means a lot in the All Time Low fandom. Now this is arguably one of the best tracks off of Future Hearts. I personally do like the song a lot. I know they play it at pretty much every one of their shows ever since it was released. I do think this song is a little too overplayed. Yes, it does have a lot of meaning to it, but I do think they could definitely take it down a notch and maybe not play it as much. The next song I have on here is Backseat Serenade. Oh, I loved this song for probably like a couple weeks straight and then I got really, really tired of it really fast. And then I noticed that everyone around me was like, that song's so overdone, it's so overrated. And I was like, holy shit, it is. <laughs> like, the song is just very overdone and um, it's good, but it's very overhyped. People freak out about it and I don't necessarily think it's as good as um, some of their other songs that they have. And the last song I picked, this actually hurt me a lot to pick this because I adore the song to death, but this is JC Ray. I do love this song. I picked this song because this is the most well-known and well-played song off of Put Up or Shut Up, their EP. And I think much as it is a good song, there are so many other amazing songs. Like Lullabies, Running With Lions, it's just everyone thinks of Coffee Shop soundtrack or JC Ray when they think of Put Up or Shut Up. This is just mostly overrated because the other songs on the album are very underrated. Alright, so the last two songs on here are gonna hit kind of hard. I'm sorry guys. So yeah, the last two songs I have on here, I feel horrible saying it already, are Weightless and Therapy. And you guys know that these are their most like emotional, sappy, heartfelt songs that you know every band has, but these are the songs that are continually played at shows and continually expected to bring tears and to just make people feel a certain way and you know like after a while it does get old, you know these songs are going to be played at the shows, you know these songs are like the favorites among fans and um, they're great songs, don't get me wrong, but I do think these ones are very, very overdone and they are ones that people are expecting to hear and they're just a little bit overdone in my mind after so many years and just hearing these songs. Like, Anyways, I hope I didn't offend anybody. I really was not trying to. Um, please don't hate on any of my choices that I chose. So make sure you guys go ahead over to my channel to see our underrated all-time list songs if you guys feel like it. And I guess I will give this back to Caitlin to do her little outro. So, yeah. 
And that's it. That's 10 of our overrated all-time low songs. Please don't hate us because, like me and Cortland said, we are both big fans of all-time low and we are no way trying to lessen the meaning or any of the sentimental values of any of these songs. We still love the songs, we still love the band, but these are 10 of those all-time low songs we think are just played a little too much. Let us know any all-time low songs you think are overrated in the comment section down below. Don't forget, check out Cortland's channel down below and check out the video we did on her channel, which is 10 underrated all-time low songs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.